The broad goal of the Environmental Change Initiative is to serve society with our scientific research. 2.8. To l provide a knowledge foundation, a scientific foundation for improved management and policy. I'm David Lodge, the director of the Environmental Change Initiative at the University of Notre Dame. The mission of the University of Notre Dame is to serve humanity. The mission of the Environmental Change Initiative is to teach and do research on topics of environmental change that will improve human welfare and to communicate that research in ways that will lead as directly as possible to improvement in environmental stewardship. We see the Great Lakes region as a, a test bed, a region in which we can build on successful partnerships between science and society, between research and natural resource management. 0.9 or 1? Uh, 0.9. The Environmental Change Initiative has been a unique approach, I think, to, to solving an environmental problem, to improve that situation uh, in, in a really, I think, um, sort of creative way. We've chosen research topics that are both on the intellectual frontier of the grand challenges in, in science and are of urgent interest to improve the environment and human welfare across the globe. They have an impact on the global good, have an impact on the citizen, have an impact on the community. And that, to me, speaks to the very critical mission of the University of Notre Dame as well. The focus of the Environmental Change Initiative is on four main areas. First, invasive species, which cause hundreds of billions of dollars of damage globally every year. Second, climate change, in which we work especially on trying to devise ways to help humans and wildlife adapt to a warming climate. Third, land use change, in which we're focusing especially on reducing the impact of agriculture and its effect in creating dead zones in coastal areas around the world. And finally, we focus on water scarcity, one of the most important emerging problems in the world. These are long-standing problems, but we're tackling them by bringing fresh approaches in scientific research and fresh approaches with partners, partners from the non-governmental organization world, from the private sector, and from government agencies to solve these problems that have been with us for so long. My name is Chuck Knapp, and I am Director of Conservation and Research at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. My name is Lindsay Chatterton. I work for the Nature Conservancy's Great Lakes Program. I'm Ralph Grundell. I'm a research ecologist with the United States Geological Survey. Faculty and our colleagues will always focus on research and teaching. Those are the things that we do best. But in the spirit of wanting to do research that improves our policies and management, we need partners. Shed Aquarium is extremely excited about our partnership with the Environmental Change Initiative because it leverages the research conducted at Notre Dame with the Shed Aquarium's ability to communicate the results to the more than two million visitors that visit us every year. For us it's a great partnership and we're making decisions about where we would work or, or where there is an opportunity for us to make a difference. Uh, it enables a really seamless um, interaction between the operational needs and the science that is occurring. The solution to these environmental problems will not ever come from one discipline. It will not come from universities alone. We've brought together people that may normally not work together on a day-to-day -day basis. Certainly one of the things that unifies the research in the Environmental Change Initiative is the spirit of science serving society. We see humans as inextricably connected to nature and see the relationship as one of humans being stewards of nature. So it's one thing to just have the idea about what we should do, but in the Environmental Change Initiative, we're taking that all the way to what we can do. We call this nature as if it's separate from human systems, but it's not. I mean, this is part of us. We want our research to live on in a more sustainable environment that our children and grandchildren can enjoy.